Otto Glandorf High School champion swimmer Ben Seeltz has impressed many with his talents in the water, but how many also realize this high school senior is deaf, has been that way since birth? When he's not swimming, he wears cochlear implant, a device that allows a deaf person to hear. But for many, communication challenges still remain. Now, as Clark Powell shows us, researchers have launched a high-tech study to better understand a deaf child's learning process, which could not only help those children, but their parents as well. Logan Lodge's parents were elated when a cochlear implant allowed their son to hear for the first time at 10 months old. But there were still challenges ahead to help Logan communicate on the same level as children with normal hearing. We had never experienced communicating with a deaf person at all before our son was born. Um, so it was interesting for us to learn how to communicate and how to teach Logan how to communicate with us. Researcher Derek Houston says that's a common struggle for parents of deaf children. So to better understand how children with cochlear implants absorb information and learn new words, he designed a study at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, which observes parent and child interactions from six different camera angles. This is the Tima. The parent presents toys with different names to their children, and every detail of how the child reacts is recorded. To give even more detail about that, they're also wearing eye tracking devices. Those devices help researchers understand what catches a child's attention during conversation and how parents might be able to use that information to better communicate. The timing of when a parent says a label um, and what the child is doing when uh, they, uh, when the label is said, uh, predicts whether or not the child will learn a word. Logan's parents used what they're learning from the study to constantly reinforce language by doing things like narrating everyday activities. And their hard work is paying off. Honestly, there are many times throughout the day that I forget that he's deaf at all, which is just incredible. At Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.